Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In this week's video I will tell you about all of the latest news and updates that Zoho has made in its software across various apps. Before I begin this video, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the notification button. And also make sure to follow our LinkedIn and Facebook group to get Zoho news daily or join our newsletter to get the Zoho news every single week. I will leave the links to the groups and also to the newsletter where you can sign up for the newsletters down below in the description box. So now let's get on into the video because there have been so many different updates across different apps in Zoho and we will start off as usually with all the updates that have been made within Zoho CRM. So first update is a multiple Kanban views per module. So until now, CRM only supported a single Kanban view per module. And now a new feature enables you to use multiple fields in order to prioritize your records. Another update is Zia note summary. So you can get instant summaries of your notes with the help of Zia. There are also significant enhancements to Zoho CRM sandbox. You can now resolve conflict cases directly alongside some of the UI enhancements. Also in Zoho CRM, a send email button has been added to the accounts module and within the email composer, a list of related contacts email addresses will be available as quick suggestions. You also now have the ability to easily send emails and synchronize conversations with custom email addresses within the Zoho CRM to ensure a comprehensive view of your email communications. And the last great update is in the Zoho CRM timeline. You can use timeline to refer to events that have happened over the last three years. It is a notable increase from previous six months time frame. You can also add notes in response to timeline events, filter timeline events and view the statues of emails directly from the timeline. So as you can see, there's a lot of different useful updates that has been made in Zoho CRM. But now let's move on to other sales apps. And let's start off from Zoho Begin. So first of all, you can now customize form links according to your preference. Also replace begin.online with your own domain name and also choose between dark and light theme for the pipeline panel. You can also now set default properties for the email composer in Begin. So you can set default preferences for three types of email composers, individual email, mass email and email in add-on. Zoho Begin also introduced state automation. So with this new feature, you can now create automations for stage transitions in just few very easy steps. And another great update in Zoho Begin are WhatsApp templates. These are pre-designed message templates made for starting conversations with your contacts whenever needed. And the last updates in Zoho Begin are for the mobile version. So now there is a dynamic display for remote settings, Context and companies modules are split and you can also download other Zoho apps within Zoho Begin app. So instant messaging chatbots are already supported for Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, and now Telegram joins the party. And the last update in sales app is within Zoho Bookings that added roles and permission. This powerful addition allows you to define permissions for your staff members, ensuring overall privacy. And now let's move on to marketing apps that includes campaigns, Zoho marketing automation, Zoho sites. There have been a lot of exciting updates across different marketing apps within Zoho. So let's get on and I will tell you about all of them. Starting off from the updates in Zoho social. First of all, you can now publish stories to Facebook, access more information through the social e-widget for Zoho mail, and also post videos on Instagram as reels or as regular posts. Moving on to Zoho marketing automation that now integrates with WhatsApp. So now you can send marketing campaigns over WhatsApp using Zoho marketing automation, which is very, very useful. 
Moving on to Zoho Sites that got a massive upgrade. Now it has Refresh to UI, Subsites feature, multilingual capabilities, built-in RTL support, expansive menu updates, visual menu icons and menu highlighting features, comprehensive SEO reports, advanced schema generator, reusable saved actions feature, custom social profiles, and individual page publishing. Zoho Backstage also got a full-on update with new user experience, interactive floor planner, AI matchmaking and gamification, also effortless ticketing and embedded widget, tailored experiences with session registration, curating your audience with registration approval, also the workflow automation and customization, organizing with spaces features, crafting exclusive experiences with event zones, measuring your success with advanced analytics, and also providing accessibility for all of the attendees. Moving on to the updates that have been made in the finance apps that include Zoho Books, Zoho Billing, Zoho Inventory, and others. Starting off from Zoho Books, now in Mexico edition, you can send item identification codes for electronic invoicing. In Kenya edition, configure print preferences for transaction PDFs. In US edition, you can configure tax for shipping charges. And also Zoho Books now integrates with WhatsApp. Also record ACH payments for your retainer invoices are now available. In India edition, you can add your MSME details in Zoho Books. Also in US edition, you can apply late fees to your invoices. And there's enhanced comments and history selections in Zoho Books now. Moving on to Zoho Billing, you can now enable customers to update their information from the hosted payment page. Also display UPI QR code in invoices PDFs in India edition. Integrate Zoho Billing with WhatsApp. Split offline invoice payments. Use Alipay via Stripe and also enable gold currency support in Zimbabwe edition. Moving on to Zoho Payroll that now integrates with Zoho Sales IQ and is available in more US states in Alaska, Georgia, Minnesota, Montana, Nevada, North Dakota, South Carolina, Wyoming, Wisconsin, Virginia, and Ohio. Also in Zoho Payroll, you now have an option to edit the FUTA rate in the taxes selection according to your specific requirements. The next finance app is Zoho Invoice. So in Kenya edition, you can integrate it with Safaricom and Pisa. In Mexico edition, show SAT item details in transaction PDFs. In India edition, update your organization MSME details in Zoho Invoice and display a UPI QR code in invoices PDFs. Also split and record offline payments for invoices, create organizations with Zeek as the base currency, enable hourly payment method via Stripe, and also if your customer's tax treatment is in UK, you can select their WAT as either WAT exempt or out of scope. And the last finance app is Zoho Expense. So first of all, in US edition, you can fetch real-time feeds for card transactions. In India edition, Zoho Expense integrates with MyBees and Zoho Expense also now integrates with Air Plus. Obviously, a lot of Zoho users love using Zoho Desk. There have been a lot of updates within this app and also across different service apps. So on Zoho Desk, there are a lot of new useful extensions that you can use. For example, Customer Insights extension, Ticket Insights for Zoho Desk, Print Tickets extension, Geolocation extension, My Follow Tickets extension, and also Checklist extension. And also, there's a very exciting Zoho Desk's instant messaging update. You can now revolutionize customer communications with WhatsApp in Turkey. Let's move on to the BI tools and let's see what's new in Zoho Analytics. So there are a few new features in Zoho Analytics. For example, a workspace level currency formatting, data storytelling with Zia Insights in Zoho Show, also wrapping text in dashboards, a brand new sunburst chart and brand new conversion bar chart, auto suggestions on report creation, top and bottom within the filters, and also an inline embed component in the dashboard. Moving on to developer apps and obviously Zoho Creator and Zoho Catalyst are very, very useful tools. So let's see what updates did they get during the last weeks. So the new exciting features in Zoho Creator include during actions in the blueprint, new widget configuration, subform column freeze, new data types in formula fields, and greatly increased maximum character limits. Now let's move on to the HR apps which includes very popular Zoho People, Zoho Recreate, and also Zoho Workerly. 
Starting off from Zoho Recruit, where you can now enhance data visibility with the new feature of mapping fields from the lookup module. Another amazing feature in Zoho Recruit is the Resume Harvester. It's a feature that automates the search for potential candidates across various job boards based on your specific criteria. And there are also exciting updates to Zoho Recruit's career site feature. There are embedded code UI enhancement, and also you can now retain your closed jobs on the career site. So as you can see, there have been so many different updates across different apps. Again, if you want to get Zoho updates and news daily, I would highly recommend going to our LinkedIn or Facebook group or subscribing to our newsletter. I will leave the link down below in the description box. And also we're Zoho Advanced Partner. So if you have any questions about implementation, integration, technical support, or customization of Zoho software, you can book a free consultation with one of our experts by the link down below in the description box where you can ask any questions. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that it was helpful for you. I will see you in the next week's video, but please don't forget to subscribe to our channel not to miss any useful information that we share here every single week.